My name is Adam Krakai, and uh, homework, my homework mate is Tomasz Kocskowicz, and our homework was a simulation of an accident with V2X communication. So our homework uh, was to create a simulation between tra framework with a network of multiple crossroads. We have to schedule, schedule an accident with veins for a vehicle and create a roadside unit which reroutes vehicles from the road where the accident happened. First of all, we need to create a map. Uh, we select, selected a real map section of Budapest. Uh, we downloaded the map from the openstreetmap.org but we need to convert we need to convert this uh, file format uh, with the o osm net convert um, and uh, we did not include additional information like houses or other obstacles so uh to achieve uh, an accident uh, in veins, uh, I, uh, we created an accident with the default settings, and uh, this accident was scheduled to the 19th uh, minute of the simulation, and uh, it uh, resolved after 255 seconds uh, of the simulation. There were two flows uh, in this grid. Uh, two of the bottom roads were the start points, and one uh, one road on the top right uh, hand corner was the end point of these flows. Both flows ended at the same road. Um, these flows uh, uh, was set to a start and end style uh, demand in uh, NetEdit, which was a part, which is a part of uh, Sumo. Um, so we didn't. Uh, Redefine the routes for these vehicles because uh, if we did, the rerouting was not possible. So we created a from to flow where we set the start point of each flow and the end point of uh, each flow. And in our case, the end points were the same. Um, to achieve uh, successful rerouting. First, uh, the first thing first thing we needed to do is to create a message, uh, um, which was sent out by the 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 vehicle which participated in the accident, and this message was uh, broadcasted to each and every participant of the of the traffic flow at that time. And the roadside unit's purpose was to rebroadcast this message to to the new participant of of the traffic. Uh, the message contained two cru crucial information. The first uh, was uh, the accident. Uh, the first was the vehicle's uh, ID, uh, which was the node ID, and the second uh, part of the message or the second message was uh, the edge ID where the accident took place and uh, these messages were broadcasted to each and every participant so they know they knew that um, this edge is uh, closed and uh, they can't can't go through that edge so they have to reroute uh, when we experimented with veins uh, we concluded that uh, when each node spawns in the simulation they uh, they define uh, an efficient uh, an efficient route for themselves at the beginning uh, of their journey, and uh, if you don't do anything, just close down the road, uh, they won't re reroute themselves. So we resolved this difficulty by uh, implementing an attribute called change target destination. Uh, which is used to, as its name says, to change the route of, of that specified node. Um, but in our case, the, the end point of their journey was the same. Uh, but the trick was when we 
execute this command, uh, they rebuild the route for themselves, and when they do, they notice that uh, that the road is closed down, and uh, they try to avoid that road. So after all this talking, let's see the simulation and the code for the for the simulation. We created the code with the help of Mr. Uh, Tomas Ormandi, um, without whom we couldn't couldn't complete this. So, thank you. Uh, the code has two crucial parts. The first part is the handle uh, self message, and the second part is the handle position update. Uh, with this part, this function um, does that. Um, when a node moves, it uh, it checks for this function and executes the 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 function itself. It if it has anything inside it for each of the nodes in the in the traffic. So the node for the accident, uh, which vehicle caused the accident, was node ID number five, and we checked uh, if the car's ID is five, and when it uh, it is five. We created a message, um, and this message was broadcasted at send down uh, this, the VSM. And the second part is on VSM, which is another function uh, which is called when a message is broadcasted and received by other participants of the traffic, and. Uh, uh, in this part, we blocked uh, blocked the road uh, in set this allowed. We use the set this allowed attribute to block a road. Uh, which what it does is it requires a string of uh, a list of strings with disallowed classes of vehicles. But in our simulation, the only vehicle that was used is uh, passenger cars, passenger vehicles. So we created a list with only a passenger string attached to it. And uh, this closed down that particular road for passenger vehicles. And uh, we also wanted to reroute them because of the set problem. And uh, this was achieved by change vehicle target or change vehicle destination. Uh, we implemented it and uh, we uh, gave the edge number of the destination. So let's see the simulation. Just I want to execute this command again because it sometimes doesn't work. Interesting. OK. Usually it doesn't take this much time. So when we st start the simulation, we can see nodes already spawning in in the bottom left corner road, and they make their way to the upper right road. And around 90 seconds, we can see that node 5 has had an accident, and uh, soon after this accident, it broadcasts a message to all participants of the traffic. This message contains the set information. And as you can see, all these nodes processed the message. The nodes that processed the message was uh, were turned to red. Now, after a short period of time, I recon this is not enough time in real world, but we set it to five seconds. After five seconds, the RSU or roadside unit uh, recasts or rebroadcasts this message for new participants uh, of the traffic, like node 10. And as you can see, node 10 uh, turned red as well. And they know that they have to avoid this edge where node 5 is on, and there they do. After the accident resolves at around 255 <coughs> seconds, we have to 
uh, leave the blockage of this road <coughs> and uh, reroute uh, the vehicles again. And as you can see, node 31 and node uh, 27 or 29 <coughs> has already started to go in that direction and because they know that the road is no longer blocked. And the simulation has ended. And uh, this would be our homework for this uh, semester.